The SafeMap approach is based on sound science, although it may not be the traditional way in which safety is managed today. Typically, what we do in safety is to give people rules and regulations, give them the right skills, and ensure that they follow the book. But that may not be enough. We really have to take the next step. We have taught workers actually not to think for themselves. We've taught them to act in the workplace like pedestrians. Just like they would cross at crosswalks, they don't think, they just do what they've been told to do. Most people today getting killed or injured at workplaces doing the job in the right way, even in the prescribed way. The SafeMap approach is based on a concept we call risk competence. And this is in turn based on the work of some advanced thinkers in this field. People like Professor Sidney Decker, Professor John Adams, uh, Carl Wick and many others. And this is what it amounts to. People who work in a high-risk environment can't simply be told not to take any risks. That's what they do in those environments. In our approach, we make people sharp, smart and competent to deal with the risks that they have to deal anyway. And that's why we call it risk competence. One of the smartest statements that I've ever heard about safety is given to us by Dr. Todd Conklin. Safety is the ability of workers to do work in an unpredictable and dynamic environment. If you define safety in that way, it changes the way that you manage it. We ensure that safety systems around people are risk-based and not simply a reaction to accidents they've already had. We ensure that organizations have resilience and reliability built into their operational systems and that people are the strongest link in their safety chains.